We wrestle not with flesh and blood, but against spirits and wickedness in high places. This is my understanding of Christianity. In order to understand faith, you first need to understand God. God, um, ultimately, really, God is just the concept, though, of truth, right? And the truth is saying, I mean, or at least if you want to be a Christian, this is for Christianity. If you uh, is saying that there is a God, whatever, I, I just accept the fact. It's fine. Right? <laughs> Was the fact that um, life itself is really more akin to a story life is a story everything has a story to it uh you can describe the background of where anything came from right you have your own story i have my own story my tv has a story right where i got it from that i there's a time where it broke i fixed it uh right um I moved with it like this where what what parts were made for this laptop right all of that could be written up in a story I place all of that uh, story talk in another dimension the fourth dimension right where time live because it takes time to tell a story you understand that there's a story to the universe right whatever that story is I want it to be true all right now you start looking at Christianity a lot of the things you see are just plain out true <laughs> I see the stories in Christianity and the Bible from Genesis played out in life every day Cain is able is real with brothers all across America when Eve ate the apple she turned away from her husband she broke God's order and though Satan became her God the Satan is the opposite of God so if God is truth Satan is lies woman's God is lies try to get a woman to tell the truth she doesn't want to do it <laughs> she can't do it <laughs> right but men they instinctively want to tell the truth because we were made in God's image woman was made in the man's image which got corrupted by Satan it's a spiritual battle that's why relationships are so difficult men and women are literally warring with each other trying to reproduce but women want to destroy the country <laughs> and men just want peace and quiet and order but we can't have that <laughs> it's insane it's crazy because you realize there is a spiritual order that thinks christ and man man over woman woman over children and in that spiritual order, man is over woman. Fellas, we are the prize. It's crazy, right? We have authority. They don't. That's why all they do is yell when they want to get something. To get you into your emotions. Because emotions are also Satan's playground. God isn't about emotions. At all. That's what we call the kingdom of heaven. The kingdom of heaven is peace of mind. The kingdom of heaven is within. It's in us. Already. That was the story of Jesus. That's what he did for us. Right? And apparently some people saw it. And that was the creator. Whatever they saw. And there's talks about UFOs. Maybe that's it. But we don't have to... So, uh, even if we do see UFOs, that's not God, right? Because God is just the concept of truth. Whatever the truth is. Um, it makes Christianity very MGTOW in a way. Except for uh, the MGTOWs take it too far in the sense that they uh swear off women forever there's a point where they do that you can't do that as men we we literally can't do that because it's our job to correct the woman and to bring her into the order that's what happened when adam became a beta male and listened to the woman when he ate the apple and so if it's man versus woman in the spiritual battle right 
that means the first woman in your life is actually your first adversary. Look at your mother, folks. Look at your mother. <laughs> you might be inclined to say you hate her. Christianity teaches you how to beat the spiritual battle, how to beat your mother. You want to know the secret? It was told in the story of Jesus Christ. You have to forgive. That's what they did first. If you forgive your mother, God can forgive you and he'll work through you. I hope you enjoy listening to my uh, initial explanation of Christianity. I hope to do more talking about Christianity in the future. I know my mic is messed up for this last half of recording this in post, um, but it's okay. I hope to do more of these videos talking about real life issues like Christianity, um, like life itself, the spiritual battle between men and women, because all of those stories in the Bible is really what is depicting this spiritual battle. Um, women have a direct line with Satan since they ate the apple first, and men, since we were made in God's image, have a direct line with God. So we represent order, they represent chaos, but, um, yeah, it's super interesting stuff once you, uh, real get into it. Um, in order for us to reproduce, though, we need each other, so that's why it's an internal struggle versus men and women, reproduction versus survival. Um, if you want to uh, hang out with me more or uh, play against me in Smash, I'm always randomly streaming on Twitch, so you can follow me on Twitch on the Twitch TV slash Sunny Waffles. Um, I also have a Twitter, uh, Sunny Waffles at Twitter, or I think it's Waffles Sunny <laughs> on my Twitter. Um, and I hope to discuss more with this. I'm going to mainly be posting on MGTOW TV and YouTube. So, um, let's see if I can foster it together. A little community, discussion community while I play Smash Brothers in the background. Um, maybe some other stuff like Pokemon, but I hope you guys have a nice day.